Since the conflict began, more than 125,000 refugees have been welcomed by the Kurdish authorities here in northern Iraq, with about 80,000 refugees alone here in Duhok government. Of these 80,000 refugees in Duhok government, about half are in Domi's camp and the other half in the urban areas of Duhok. Urban refugees currently get very little support. More than 3,000 refugees arrive every week, and by the end of the year, it is expected that there will be about 350,000 refugees in northern Iraq. The government originally designed Domi's camp, the camp behind me, to accommodate around 1,000 households. But as you can see, the influx of refugees has exceeded both expectations and planning. In addition to the camp itself, there are also thousands of refugees living on the perimeter of the camp. Conditions in these areas are very poor, and households have very poor access to essential items and services. The refugees living on the edges of Dumi's camp are highly vulnerable. Most have no savings, no income, and no other place to go. The summer is beginning here. The temperatures in northern Iraq reach 50 degrees Celsius in the hottest months. This combined with poor drainage, a lack of clean water, and poor general sanitation creates a huge risk of diseases like diarrhea, cholera, and hepatitis. With the focus currently largely on supporting camps, little support is being given to the roughly 60,000 refugees in urban areas. Conditions may seem better in apartment buildings and neighborhoods in town, but overcrowding is also a problem, as is access to basic services such as drinking water and sanitation. As savings and resources dwindle, evictions are more and more common, thus the potential need for rental support. With the hot summer approaching, and the increased caseload expected, existing problems will only get worse. The local authorities have done a tremendous job in responding to the needs, but more resources are required to address these critical gaps. Gaps in water, sanitation and shelter.